something that Einstein said in 1932. And I'll have to remember, I never use notes, so let's see. What did he say? Einstein said, in order to solve the problems that we face in life, we must access a higher level of intelligence than that which we used to originally create the problem. So I'll say that again. In order to solve the problems that we face in life, we must access a higher level of intelligence than that which we used to originally create the problem. So there's two messages in that statement. And the first message actually is a bit negative. It's a bit depressing. The first message that he says is that, you know, you and I, whatever we are experiencing in our life, we created it. We created it. We drew it to ourselves like a magnet. Now, actually, as humans, we don't want to hear that. If you're going through something difficult in your life, you don't want someone coming up and saying, sorry, what's your first name? Ilya. Ilya. You don't want someone saying, well, Ilya, you know, it's your fault, really. You created this. We don't want that. We want a bit of love and sympathy, you know? You're right. Well, yeah. <laughs> Um, and there is something within humans, there's something in here, <coughs> in here, that when something goes wrong, we like to point the fingers out, don't we? We like to say, oh, well, it's because of you. <laughs> oh, well, I'm upset because of the way you're treating me. You know? Um, oh, well, things aren't going well with me because of you. But Einstein is saying, well, actually, no. And he's right. Now today I don't want to scare you all away by talking about electromagnetism, quantum physics, the power of thought, vibration, holographic universes, but all of that is actually very relevant. But we do create our own reality. And I'll give you one example, a childish example, through decision. You and I make thousands of decisions every month. That decision to have that cigarette or not. <clears throat> that decision to have that extra alcoholic drink or not. That decision to get up early or lie in bed for another two hours. That decision to watch television for another three hours or go for a walk in the fresh air. That decision when you're feeling hungry and you're down in the main square you go left into McDonald's, or you turn right into something healthy like... Um, I can't think. <laughs> something. You know, juice bar. Some nice, nice healthy juice bar. Some but these are the decisions we make every day of our lives. And they create who we are. I love that. Because it means you and I, right now, can make different decisions. And we can immediately start to experience different results in our life. Literally, immediately. I love that. So the first message that Einstein had was, you and I, and we use a phrase in coaching, we say we, we manifest our own reality, or we create our own reality. And we do. The second message is a bit more involved. And, um, here we are, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, nearly 20 people. I don't know you, you don't know me, maybe we will meet again, maybe not. Who, who knows what happens in life, who knows these things? So I don't know you, but I know a lot about you. I know a huge amount about you. Number one, numero uno, you are human beings. And as human beings, you have within you the most incredible power. You have a strength. You have a magnificence that is so incredible. If you came to a true understanding of who you are, what you are, and the power within you, honest to God, you, you, you would have to go to bed for a week. You would, you'd be shocked, you know, but in a positive way. Because most people have no understanding of exactly what they ca are capable of, the power within them, and what they can achieve. 
So you have, and I'm using this deliberately, you have an inner light that shines that is outside of this world. And I'll say that again. You have an inner light that shines that is outside of this world. You have a strength, you have a power, you have a magnificence within you that you have no idea. You, you literally understand 5%. If that. But that's only half of it. That's human beings. As well as human beings, you are spiritual beings. And as spiritual beings, you have within you an omnipresence and an omni power. Here's the thing you have access to every resource you ever need to help you to deal with any problem or any challenge that life gives you. This I know to be true. Not only that, you have access to every resource you ever need to help you to set and achieve any goal in life that you choose. This I also know to be true. The problem is, no one ever teaches us this when we're little children. No one ever sits us down when we're little children teaches us about the power within us, how to access that power, and how to deliver it outwards. And this is what coaching does. Coaching helps men and women to understand who they are, what they are, what they are capable of, and then to reach inside themselves, because the coach doesn't have the answer, the client has the answer. They just don't know that. They don't always believe that, and they don't usually understand that, to begin with. And the job of the coach is to help them understand and believe. And then, using sophisticated coaching techniques, we have things called models, methods, systems, help them to reach deep down within themselves and come up with an answer that is right for them. This is why coaching is growing. 